in Taiwan, many classrooms have added a charging and storage station for electronic devices, including students' smartphones. These are for students granted special permission to bring phones, which they can access only after school. Because the teacher needs to control the class, if students bring their cell phones for purposes other than learning, it may become difficult for the teacher to manage. On the other hand, having cell phones in class may also make it harder for students to concentrate. Although few students apply to bring their phones to class, the Children Welfare League Foundation noted in 2019 that the average age for a first cell phone was 10.1 years old. The pandemic's shift to online learning has heightened the focus on smartphone rules in schools, amid concerns about online bullying and disrupted learning. Yet, many believe total bans are not the answer. Teachers and students should collaboratively establish a safe code of conduct for internet use in the school. For instance, teachers can initiate a discussion with their students in class about creating a class-wide internet safety agreement. This agreement could include guidelines on the amount of time spent on the internet and when it is appropriate to use cell phones. While various countries worldwide implement classroom phone bans, Taiwan is cautiously evaluating the benefits and drawbacks. Instead of imposing bans, experts suggest enhancing children's internet literacy and media interpretation skills, promoting responsible and informed device use. Zhou Yaoshan, Li Yuanzhi, Chen Jianming, Vivian Shao, TVBS World Taiwan.